It's one a special event. It's the Clash at Daytona, 8 p.m. Eastern Time here on FS1. 17 drivers in search of glory and the first NASCAR checkered flag of Speed Week. Join us live. Dale Earnhardt Jr. will be in the booth with Jeff, Darrell, and myself. And here are how the 17 drivers will line up. Their crew chiefs drew for starting position. Defending winner Denny Hamlin on the front row with Brad Keselowski. That's going to be a couple of guys that are going to be hard to knock off that front row for a while because that, that two car the other last night was amazingly fast and he could pull everybody around here and they could seem like to get up to him and he couldn't get around him. And we know what Hamlin can do, so that's two good ones. Uh, I think we're going to see some wild uh, moves that are going to happen, not to mention some great pit strategy. Now Danica Patrick's made it back to the garage after that car was very slow up high down in turns one and two. Here's what they said on the radio. Yeah, so basically what happens is that the team will tell them if you get to the, and the gauges now light up when they get to a certain water pressure. Water pressure has a lot to do with the heat, uh, you know, if the water uh, temperature gets too high. And they don't want to hurt this engine. This is, you know, their qualifying engine. And so they're trying to get the tape sorted out on the amount of air flowing through the radiator to get the maximum amount of speed and, and less drag out of the car. It sounds to me like they were just off a little bit on the amount of tape. Jamie? And that's exactly what they just told me. They were experimenting with the tape, so they think they had a little bit too much, and they didn't pull it off enough after the last run. So both combined, she had to shut it down. And also, I mentioned yesterday, her crew chief, Billy Scott, home with the flu, hasn't even made it down to Daytona yet, and he's still not here as of now. Her race engineer, William Lee, the one with the black sweatshirt on with his back to us, he's at the helm right now calling the shots. He was a little nervous when Danica came on the radio and said she was pushing water, but they're going to let it cool down and go back out here shortly. Guys, let's talk about the grill opening. Of course, here, tape is your best friend. We're going to use our Ford cutaway car. At the downforce tracks, you're going to see the grill opening is down in this area. But at Daytona and Talladega, for all makes, NASCAR mandates the grill opening be right there. The more tape you put on there, and a little bit is a lot, in straightaway speed. Now, one thing about that water pressure, NASCAR mandates that the pressure relief valve here is 32 PSI. So it's more about going over the water pressure than it is the water temp. It's, it's a pressurized system. As long as you don't start spitting water out, it's not going to hurt anything. But if you get too hot with the water, we know for a fact the power starts to come down a little bit. Yeah, heat, heat is a, a, a restrictor plate engine. Heat is its worst enemy. Here's Elliot Sadler. He'll be full-time in the Xfinity Series again this year. Tommy Baldwin Racing owns that number seven. Uh, Tommy was one of the charter teams last year, sold his charter. They're going to make a few sporadic starts here in the Cup Series, uh, run some modified races, and do some other things, including run uh, Sadler here at Daytona. Matt? Mike, we're in the final chapter of the inspection process for the 77 car of Aaron Jones. It went through the grid. They went through all the templates. They have since pushed it back out. I spoke with Chad Little and one of the officials in the inspection area, Todd Howe. They both told me that simply the car has passed. They just need to do a little bit more work on the front splitter, and then they will be cleared to go out on the racetrack. So minutes away here from having the 77 cleared for on-track action. Thanks, Matt. Two and a half hours left in Daytona 500 pre-qualifying practice on FS1.